correct. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Jets and the London Monarchs. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And we are underway on a Monday night. This taken in about four yards deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Marlon Mack, his first carry of the game. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Mayfield. That's out to his running back, Michelle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. From the gun, Mayfield. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. complete. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make this a second and long. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. He was looking for his tight end, Jay Sternberger, there. And it's third down. And again, it's Mayfield. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. At the Jets' 40-yard line. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And that'll be incomplete. Mayfield Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and run for this with Mack. Mack gets hit, and the ball is free. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 30. Six-yard line. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Jets. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first, or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. From the 31, Mayfield and is caught right at the 10-yard line. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, marking down at the 9. 
three yards, the final tally. First and goal at the nine-yard line. They'll run here with Mack. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Second and goal. Mayfield flushed out right. This is caught, and he'll be out of bounds. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Brings up second and eight. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Carson, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. From here, this would have been a 48-yarder, but no, they're going to go for it. They'll run it with Bell, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First down, Jets. They'll throw on first down with Hertz, escaping the pressure right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. So let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Now left side on the swing pass. There he goes inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. To Antonio We're scoreless after one. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. They're facing a tough spot. Third and eight here to start things out. Flush to his right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this one is right through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3 nothing. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I, mean, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Mayfield to throw it. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Mayfield now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And his kick is indeed good. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And when we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football, it says finish on it because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and 10. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running part, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, Gibson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. First and goal, Jets. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing... And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get... done in a ball game they've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not have the balls go through goal posts an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 throwing mayfield oh the 
ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Mayfield. He gets it left side to Johnson. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. 61 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, I'd be at practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod, and you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football the way he sees it. He wants a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone <laughs> boot hill baby the jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime and it's third down on third down it's gibson and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35 Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's going to rifle one deep left, and that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 33 yards that time. And he'll go down at the 28. And yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So we reach halftime here at our first Monday nighter of the season. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Going deep for Hopkins. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Mayfield. His throw caught at about the five. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Chase Sternberger. 35 yards and his guys are going to retake the lead and this is no good it's a missed extra point boy the tight game how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along now he's back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the pat miss now this will make it into the end zone and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one 18 yard line Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. It's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. To the right side and complete to Hurst. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's getting Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we drop. It's about those Jimmys and Joes. <laughs> and when you have a punt returner, he's one of those Jimmys and Joes, one of the best athletes. He's unable to make the play that they were seeking, though. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication... It's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Chris Carson. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jets have once again taken the lead. His and he puts it through. Makes the score Jets 20, Monarchs 16. Austin Seibert. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Fielded in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. It looks like he had green on that play. A first down throw for Mayfield. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Johnson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mayfield on play action. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll get nothing out of that one. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Mayfield looks to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Welcome back now here in London. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. <laughs> Throwing his Hurts. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Aiden Hurst, 43 yards. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. And this carries into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit, because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. To throw, Mayfield. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Now, before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So they bring out their putter as he'll kick it away for the second time. One yards on the punt there. And the Jets will take over first and ten. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Down to the 25. Antonio a gain of three, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run them on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stay and talk quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Flush to his right. And it's caught. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. 14 yards. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Well, they were backed up on third and goal. And when you saw him start to scramble, my thought process was he'll get what he can and maybe get out of bounds. But he got a little bit greedy there. And in this case, greed was good as he got into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly... In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Meanwhile, here's a shot for the end zone right away, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. Dancing to his left, and he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Jalen Hurts with now three week one touchdowns and the jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six kick is good. and he'll bang that one through Makes the score jets 41 monarchs 16. following the touchdown here's cyber now to kick it off looking up into the lights and he muffs it 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Guys take over first and 10. At their own the offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Five-yard line. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. He's across midfield for the 48 yard. Off the draw, here's Michelle. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This is Johnson. He's got it. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. His throw caught at about the five. And he will take it in for the touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. They run again with Carson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A gain of three on the play. First down, New York. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football.